Jersey. Anybody in Jersey wants a radio fixed, you got to get in touch with Richie Radio from Stunt, from Brooklyn. You the goddamn. <laughs> you don't even. You don't even know what borough, what Richie Radio. You got Richie Rich from Staten Island. Then you got Richie Crackhead 127. But if you want your radio done right, right, Richie from Bayonne, take it to uh, take it to Delta Electronics. Delta Electronics and ask, ask for Sam. He'll do a good job, 100 times better than Richie, and it gives you a guarantee. Haven't you figured out people don't listen to crackheads out here? That's why Richie's so popular. <laughs> Richie doesn't give you any guarantee. If the radio blows up at 21 capacity, capacitors inside the radio explode, he goes, to, he tells you, if it's your fault, you fucked with it. I don't honor, I don't give warranties, cause, because I'm the king. And I'm like, now, now. Well, your friend clearly stated in a video gate that he took the radio, brought it to another technician, and as soon as the man put it on the table and hooked it up, it started blowing caps everywhere. So where does that say Richie Radio blew the radio up? Up back quiet. Stupid motherfucker. I can't even get in the wall because you're not even a radio guy. You get in the wall when radios are old and shit goes bad. You're a stupid motherfucker. Yeah. You go to Richie, you might as well take it to a homeless person. Right. Enforce is just mad. Because Richie Bayonne told him Richie Radio's the only guy pumping out radios that sound this good. And then Foster wishes I was his crackhead buddy so I could feed him. But don't worry, Doc. Keep begging. I'm sure you'll get somewhere. And keep trying to spread the lies out here. You see what the people are telling you, right? You see how they're sticking it right up your ass. Finally, after all day, you got one of your little bitch buddies out here with you. We think that's hilarious for today's gates. <laughs> Two bitches in a pod, and neither one of them are all with me, which means they don't know me, which means they could only speculate and wish I was like them. You're a crackhead and a junkie. That's all that matters. You motherfucker. I'll be any crackhead and junkie you want, bitch. You can call me any name. You can call me every name and every sleazy junkie un in the book. The fact still remains the same. The radio public's giving it to you up your ass. And not because uh, they believe anything you say about me. It's because what they get to witness every day is totally something different. <laughs> Richie is a crackhead, he's a number one dopehead, his fucking arms are like pink cushions, you want to send your radio to a junkie? Pink cushions, guys. If these are not the cleanest fucking arms I have ever seen in my life, if these are not the cleanest arms, if these are not the cleanest arms I've ever seen in my entire life, what it really is, dude? Do, do these look like tracks or history of any kind of tracks ever in their life? Hold on. Let's go to the other one right here. Do I look like I'm any type of that kind of junkies, guys? Oh, cat scratches. Uh-oh. not trying to hurt you out here. He back off I think he figured out no matter what he does out here, he can't hurt Richie at all. <laughs> Richie has proven that time and time again. Actions speak louder than words. And Richie has the patience and time to wait. He'll talk and yak and rant and rave and he'll sit back and he'll wait for the right moment and then he'll start pouncing on you you into submission until you start crying and begging. Richie Radio has a very strong bond with the people in Brooklyn. You jealous? You don't like them? Find another channel. If you believe in that junkie, more power to you and you get what you deserve. I don't know who that is, Richie, and I can't hear him that well. But I figured he was doing that. And take his and take your radios over there. More power to you. Who is it, Richie? That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, well, listen, I run old school, man. The shit I got is so old. I gotta put it in the box and sit there. You hear what Richie and Bayonne told him? 
Only Richie radios, cranking out radios that sound that good in New York and New Jersey. You hear Richie and Bayonne told him right up his ass. Shout out to Obama. Listen, you, you seem like a, a sensible guy there, Richie, Rich from Bayonne. You seem like a sensible individual with a good head on your shoulder. You see, you're an OG guy, right? So if you're an OG, you listen to an OG. and Bayonne, that's the last thing he wanted to hear, but truth and facts speak for itself. NYC Radio Wars on YouTube got all the truth and justice. Richie, who is that out there? Good that's Punky Pyman. The man is a dope fiend, he's a crackhead, and he's a fucking woman beater. Do you want to get that man? That's Punky Pyman trying to convince them that I'm his crackhead, his junkie, and his dope fiend again. <laughs> He don't even know he got. He's in Jersey, the corruption capital of the world, where eighty percent of all the inmates are actually really innocent. But we ain't gonna go there. You end up in jail. Yeah, stage three is coming. The dead star. Hey, Mike, your children and lock your windows and doors. Nah, Mike. You know what it is? He he was humble all day because he had none of his cheerleaders with him. Now he's got bad girl holding his hand. He turns into the war monster again and wants to try to convince the world that I'm his drug buddy again. Oh, well. NYC Radio Wars on YouTube. Truth and Justice says it all. Oh, I get it. That wasn't Punky Pie I've been talking. Was that bad bitch? Good. He smokes fucking marijuana. He smokes fucking marijuana. He wants to smoke cheaper, man. I wish he could get out of shoot, man. Like he used to get back in the 1980s. He's that bad bitch out there. Fat man. Bad bitch. Bolt out there. See Enforcer on his last leg, dog. He, uh, that 20 he's at, as you can tell by, uh, his erratic behavior. Less than 30 days, Michael. Really? That is all good. I'm joining you, lady, right now. Hey, Richie, hey, Richie, Richie Rich from Bayonne, I'd like to take you out, and, uh, we'll sit down at a bar and have a few beers, but just a smoky pie, man. He's a douchebag, John. Keep to the other. Remember this. Remember this. Richie, Punky Pime is a douchebag. I'm going to throw your money away. Make sure you tell him your handle is not Richie Rich at all. Thank you. Tired? You're trying to, you know, enjoy the golden years. Don't do it to yourself. Don't listen to a deceiving crackhead. That Richie 127 will do you wrong. A friend of mine by the name of, we all know who. 21, blue, 21 capacity. Hey, Trinitron, Mike Action, waving the hand. Capacity has exploded due to Richie 127's work. And you want to go to that guy? Come on, man. Listen to an OG, brother. No, I hear you, man. What's that, Michael Jackson is trying to come in now? Michael Jackson is trying to get his money. Hey, fucking German. You know, Germany burns up a lot of people out here. You know, German? Yes, I do. Fat boy, where's fat boy? Five one five, fat boy. You know German, German, Herman. Remember that guy? Fat boy, five one five, fat boy. I, I remember German. What, what about him? Five one five, fat boy. Five one five. We fucked a lot of people over. 
I thought you I said Richie Rich from Staten Island fucked over people. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, am I getting it wrong? Wow, Richie. He's got a hard on for you. If I, if, I, if I didn't know any better, I would say he's on his knee and he has a diamond ring and he's going to ask you a question. Well, everybody around the band is giving it to him up the ass the minute he starts talking about me or starts in with his lies and his rumors or talking like he's Richie's best butt buddy. But, you know, hey, Mikey, less than 30 days, less than 30 days, and as long as the radio public does what they feel is right, I'm going to sit back and laugh. Well, it's only a matter of time. How's this? For me, psychological and mental manipulation. He's the perfect candidate. Buddy, I like everybody on this whole channel. Mike, he tries to be sophisticated, Mike. He's learning from the video gates and learning from taking all these beatings, Mike. I'd have a battle of wits with him, but he's an unarmed individual. Mike, he's uh, he's he's not equipped to have a battle of wits. <laughs> there is no battle of wits with a twit. Dirt, how did you fight with a guy named Dirt Boy? How could you argue with someone named Dirt Boy who got thrown out of his house by a prostitute and a junkie? How low can you go? I don't know. The dirtiest name my mother ever called me was a rat because I was a cop, you know, but uh, his mother calls him Dirt Man because <laughs> he does everybody dirty. And then I don't think she calls him Dirt Man because I don't think he's a man. I think she calls him Dirt Boy. I love that man. That fucking... <laughs> Listen to him. He's going crazy. Let on. All he needed was one cheerleader to stand by his side. See how he turned them on? Look at this. Brothers, Brothers your butt buddy, Richie127. He's another one. Post this shit on YouTube. That's pussy shit. That's not nothing, nothing manly about that. That's not no battle plan. Fuck a warrior's don't fucking set uh, junk mail to another man's house. Threatening their family, calling up their mothers. Fucking sending uh, fucking child services to people's houses. That's a coward shit. I never did any of those things, but I did put you on YouTube. But uh, exclude me from the rest of the list. Just apply me to YouTube. You don't like it? Come do something about it. <laughs> hey, I invited you over, bitch. I told you where to meet me at my job. What a bullshit artist. I was going to whip your ass on the boys club on the low east side. You fucking pumped out. So you've been pumped more than once, Richie. You want to pump your chest and show the mic on action? Go ahead. Go ahead. But we all, we all fucking pumped you out here. You're a bitch, a fucking homo, a junkie, and a fucker. I got no respect for you, and once and for all, Richie. Listen to this. Open your mouth. <laughs> So let me guess, his idea of him doing something about it is wanting me to deliver it to him. All right, I can feel the pussy implying it. I really can. He bought a pair of Kevlar gloves waiting for me to come see him. Oh, man, I'd be ashamed. I'd be ashamed even bragging that I bought him for somebody. I want to send him over to the superstore. Hey, Corey. Hey, Drew. I got a bottle. Listen, I, I gotta go, man. You guys are boring. You're fucking boring me right now. I'm, re I'm fucking ready to go to sleep here. Q, I'm sending them over two radios, man, two CBs that nobody could fix. Nobody could fix them, and he's gonna fix them. Instead of going to sleep, figure out how to get back to Levittown. You're gonna give Ray a Richie radio. I mean, Richie 127. Two radios that no one can fix. Are you out of your fucking mind? How much do you have to drink tonight, Richie? No nuts. No nut lane crying that he can't go home. Hey, Mike. Mike, you know his buddy Birdman, Mike? You know his buddy Birdman? His buddy Birdman will be the first to tell him. We brought it to six other technicians, and nobody could have brought Billy 626's fucking radio to life but Richie. And Richie did just that. <laughs> you know that'll fuck himself worse. And it's on video game. I know, Richie. I got you. I know, Richie. I'll suck your dick, Richie. I know. Richie's the best. I bring all my equipment to Richie. I bring all my equipment to Richie. Yeah, I know. You're right, Richie. Oh, 
poor punky pie and still trying to fit in, still trying to become a man in the man's world. Well, you know, all I can say, Mr. Pyerman, is go over your video gates and listen to where you went wrong. <laughs> but pay attention to what Bobby told you Saturday morning. He told you that's what you get for fucking with a guy like Richie. <laughs> Way out of your league. <laughs> you hear this crackhead, Bobby? Crackhead, he smokes a marijuana, you stunner. You stupid motherfucker, you. Hey, Richie, Richie Radio. Richie from Bayonne. Bayonne. He not only smokes marijuana, he's a crackhead. I got a video to prove it. You want to see that fucking video there, tough guy? Tough guy? Yes, everybody out here would love to see it. Would love to see it, dude. I'll mail it to your house, Richie. Want to, uh, Richie uh, from day on. I'm going to mail this video to your house. Your house. Hey, Richie, whatever video you're seeing is not this Richie in that video. I'll stake my life on it. And it's definitely not from my Utica Avenue CB shop. With that said, we are on the quiet side. Hey, Enforcer, Enforcer, I'm going to make your dream come true. You've been begging all day to have your parents' house and name and all that shit taken down. Post that video you got anywhere on YouTube. Show the rest of the radio public out here what you're made of. Show them that I'm the crackhead you say I am. And if you could do that, bro, I'll take it all down. That's the only way it's coming down now. Mr. You got a video. <laughs> Whatever you do, do. Whatever you do. <laughs> Talk about stupid. Hey, Richie, he's continuing to make it worse for himself. And he's just digging a deep hole. And he doesn't even know it, Rich. And he did that to Mike actually. I know. I know it hurts. But he's got Bad Girl out there playing it up with him, so you have to understand, Bad Girl's not even a beef. Bad, yo, 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 Bad Girl's like the wild card waitress spilling the food all over the place. Uh, five minutes came and gone, like four or five days already. <laughs> Eight hundred I don't know why these cats think they get, they get. You know what, they can get us anywhere they want. They can say anything they want. When it all comes down to it, at the end of the day, they got to look in the mirror and suck down the feet. Play the video that I said you weigh 800 pounds and you're in a wheelchair. Play the video and I'll come down. Somebody is sticking up for your man. Like I said to all the radio world out here, if you was a smart people, you'd get them to show and prove. But I know why none of you are going to push up for that, because you're way too smart and know better than that. See, I'm supposed to go deliver his beef and his settlement. He went out and bought Kevlar gloves to come to Brooklyn to use. But his idea of a solution is me coming to him to solve his beef. I, you know, I'm never going to understand that. He's the one that's going to put on his fucking hands. Stay out of my fucking business. Stay out of it. Okay. I got somebody from Staten Island to bring my radios over to Brooklyn. Stay out of my fucking business. <laughs> Yo, Ray Richie, 
Rich, uh, Richie up on Bayon. Don't do it to yourself, OG. Don't do it to yourself. I know you're feeling good right now. I know you want to go over and smoke Richie's uh, marijuana and his hashish, but it's not worth it, brother. Because if he gets you high, like Bill Crosby did, he got those women high and fucking raped them, you're going to be in the same dilemma. You're going to fix your two CBs. That's all I care about. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, cool. I'll be back. I got another one up the block, Mike. I'll be back. I'll be here waiting for you. Mr. No Beef and sling shit over everybody else's beef. That's Mr. Instigator Winstigator, who's definitely afraid of his own shadow. That's Mr. Um, that's Mr. <laughs> what happened if he fucking shits on me? What do I do then, Richie? You stick him like a pin. <laughs> <laughs> 